So we're going to go through the setup and the navigation of the Boostlingo app. So first we need to set up the Boostlingo interpreter app um, after your online account has been created and after you've had a look through and navigated that one. So we'll go into our app store and we'll download Boostlingo interpreter. This is the one here. That's what the icon looks like. It's free to download and you can download it onto um, any type of device and unlimited devices. We'll just wait for that to download. All right. It will say Boostlingo would like to send you notifications. Make sure that you allow this so that you will receive calls when they come through. Um, we're going to sign in with the same email address um, that you used when you were creating your online profile. Same password as well. It's all connected. I think I might have done the wrong password. Okay, so as an interpreter, I now have access to the main screen of the Boostlingo interpreter app. This is your online and your offline button. So all you have to do is press the big red circle. If you are online, it means you can take on-demand calls and you can be um, accepting appointments or scheduled calls. But the main point of being online means that you will have calls coming in from KP's clients um, that aren't booked. So you might not have much knowledge about what's what will be coming in, but it'll be great for emergency situations for our client. If you don't feel like taking calls, simply switch to offline. We're going to swipe right to the appointments section. So this is where you can keep track of any on-site invitations and bookings. And it's in an accessible um, diary format. So if you've accepted an appointment, it will show up here. Any that are confirmed will show up here. And usually you'd already be at the site when you um, are looking at this, but those are the ones that are in progress. Um, any invitations will show up in the first tab and you'll need to accept those. If you swipe right again, you'll get to the scheduled list. There are no scheduled calls for this interpreter today, but this screen basically just shows all the calls that perhaps would be scheduled for that day, um, just in a very quick format. Instead of having to go onto your online account, you can just quickly check on here. It's good to keep track of what you're up to for the day. Um, if you swipe left of the main screen, this is the completed section. This shows a log of ongoing and completed daily jobs. So you can actually press on these appointments for more information. This is for if you would like to track perhaps a, an appointment that you've done that day um, or in the past few weeks. Um, you can obviously do a lot more detailed tracking on the online account. In the top left corner here, those three bars, um, there are a few settings you can change. Firstly, we'll go into the call log. These are the calls that you have completed. Um, for detailed weekly or monthly logs, like I've already said, please visit your online account. If you go to notes, this is where appointment details sent from a KP administrator will arrive. This helps with on-the-go information when you're going to an on-site job. The expenses is an option to immediately add any extra expenses onto an on-site appointment if that is necessary. So you can click into here, 
at an expense, perhaps um, you had to pay for parking, you can request that we pay you for that expense. Totally, it depends on the agreement that we have you have with you as an interpreter. The last important spot I need to show you is the settings. Um, you can't change much on your app because we've made sure that the app is very simple, made mainly just to make calls. But um, you can check that your name and your email is correct, your phone number. And a very important one is to make sure that your no notifications are enabled. You can also send logs to yourself. Um, I'm not going to do that now, but that is just another way of tracking some things. Please remember to update your app regularly or set your app store to automatic updates because we don't want you to miss out on any new features.